This is Brian for PeakyNews.com. Is your Pekingese disrupting your night's sleep? If so, you need to identify the problem so you can find a suitable solution. There are various ways you can get your dog to sleep. Here are some tips. Ascertain the problem. Puppies are creatures of habit and have a tendency to miss a litter's warmth. As such, a change of sleeping condition could be the problem. In case something traumatic has happened recently, it will also need to be addressed. Environmental change. The new puppy might find it difficult to sleep in an open room if he was used to spending his nights inside a crate, kennel, or other small places. In such a case, you will have to be patient because it might take a while before he can adjust. Try to give him something like a bean bag or a mat coupled with a clock that makes a rhythmic ticking sound. These items should be placed under a blanket or cushion in the pet's sleeping area. Expect this to have a magical effect on the dog. Lack of exercise. Generally, a dog requires 30 to 40 minutes every day of running around and panting. Having a restless dog at night could be an indication that he lacks exercise for him to burn up his extra energy. A tired dog is a good dog, so goes the adage. Sleep during the day. Ensure that you don't leave your Pekingese to sleep the whole day as that will keep him wide awake at night. Diet. Dogs tend to absorb energy in a way that is different from humans in that their energy increases right after feeding. This means that if you feed your pet too late in the night, he will be too energetic to snooze. The best thing to do is to ensure that you give him food earlier and also let him relieve himself before finally settling into bed. Create a place for him to sleep and ensure that you show him his secluded sleeping spot the very first night he spends at your home. This may be comprised of a crate or kennel, which would preferably be first lined with newspaper as a precaution against potential night accidents. There should be a raised area in the puppy's sleeping place to ensure that he will not sleep on his waist. A dog pillow or doggy bed can do just fine. Give him the freedom to find his sleeping place. While you may choose a particular space for him, you should train him so that he can willingly go to that spot. It is important for him to be positively connected to that place and not relate the area with a negative experience, including being picked up and put there forcefully. Don't share a bed just yet. Although you may feel like sharing an intimate moment with your Pekingese, avoid doing it right away. You should first give him time to acquaint himself with his place. Refrain yourself from reacting even if he whines and cries at night because the worst mistake you can make is try to comfort him. He will know that he can control you by summoning you anytime he wants. Remember, it may take some time and patience, but it is certainly worth it. Your rest and the Pekingese will be guaranteed in the end. If you enjoyed this video, you're more than welcome to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.